kids, sorry for cursing. Listener discretion is advised if that's a thing. Now, here's what I'm trying to explain to y'all. That's the Xbox One one, okay? You know, it's a standard game, nothing else. Okay, this is WW2K22 that we're talking about here, okay, as you can see. Now, this is $59, okay, just for the Undertaker Immortal Pack. All you got to do is go to um, the download creation, created characters and make an Undertaker. I mean, so what? That's how they get you. Oh, yes, yeah, Premier Set. No, the fuck it ain't. Now, this is the um, cross-gen digital bundle set. It's the same thing, but you can have it for Xbox um, Series X as well. No. All right. This is $100. Deluxe bundle. It's like it's got the Xbox on um, 1S, the Immortal Pack, and those extortionary gambling cards, all that boost stuff. You know what I'm saying? It don't got. It doesn't have a re accelerator. They changed that. Okay. Moving on. This is the NWO set. $119 for a fucking video game. You could buy three video games for the price of that shit. So don't let don't, don't let WWE fool you. They're trying to get that skyscraper, so they're jacking up the price on everything. You know what I'm saying? That's all it boils down to. Now we're gonna show you. I'm gonna show you something else. Now, we're going to show you the games I have, okay? I got 2K19. As you can see right there, there's 2K19. I got that. They want $59 for this old-ass game, and that GameStop is only like $15 to $19. See the fuck I'm saying? That's price gouging, isn't it? Okay. I'm going to show you the um the add-ons, of course. I'm trying to get to it. The accelerator is $4.99, but there's no accelerator on the new game. That was $9.99. That was $8.99, something like that. That was on sale. You know what I'm saying? But they don't use the damn discount shit. That was like $4.99. I wasn't getting that because the only thing good on there was Ricochet. See what I'm saying? It's $9.99. Okay, you see the prices of that, right? That's reasonable. See what I'm saying? All right. Let me go to 2K20. Now, the Bray Wyatt on um, Bump in the Night is like $15. Okay, I had to get it because Bray Wyatt, okay? Now, do you see the prices right there? Do you see that's not that fucking expensive? Now, we're going to go to 2K22 um, again. Like for the like, seasons pass or the bundle set with extra um, wrestlers and stuff. I'm going to show you something. That motherfucker's 39 goddamn dollars. For, so for wrestlers, you, you, that's not even damn um, sitting next to you playing the damn game. Do you see what I'm talking about here? See what I'm saying? They got to stop this fucking shit. Because that make no goddamn sense. Nobody need to spend that much money on no fucking video game. You fucking crazy. Okay, kids, understand this. V-Bucks is cheaper than this. The highest you should spend on V-Bucks, sorry, is probably like $10. They got $4.99, $7.99, $8.99, $15.99, $20. Okay, let's see what I'm saying? Parents, I hope you see this video. So when your kid trying to ask for, oh, I need this for this wrestling game, no. Research what the fuck they're trying to buy. Because that make no sense, WWE. Y'all know that. It's a fucking video game. See, they need to crack down on this DLC shit. That's how they get away with you. That's how they make more money. Then they hide behind, oh, we have to patch it. Warframe don't charge you to damn patch a damn game. You know what I'm saying? 